Hey, Alex. Hi, Mitch. It, season three, it's done. Yes. It's over. Yes. And even though we didn't do a commentary on season two, because mm-hmm. we didn't have time, we're going to do one on season three. Yeah, looking forward to it. The people who are watching these videos, if you know, leaving a comment below, like saying how that they, you know, they like this series and how they, they appreciate these kind of videos really goes a long way. Yeah, so commenting, sharing, liking, all these things really help out the channel. It's uh, funded by the local government um, on, honestly, a limited budget two-string budget so it's a kind of a passion project for me and mitch to try and promote kagoshima and some of the people who live here so any you know sharing liking commenting all that kind of activity really helps to justify us to create more episodes in the future for the prefecture um and that means we can interview more people and bring more of kagoshima to you as well so yeah make sure to share and like and leave a comment say hello and also come and visit us as well in kagoshima now, this is an interesting season because uh, for season one and season two, you were heavily in, uh, involved in the actual production. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And then for yeah. season three, you were more of like an advisory production role like you were supposed to be in for season one and season two. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so like a lot of the shots will be the way that we'll talk about them will be a little, a little different from... Yeah, that's right. And also, you know, the major difference is that I'm at the beginning... Of each one as well, walking around and saying something. So, so, so I, what happened? Okay. So I was watching one of my favorite YouTube channels mm-hmm. and I saw that the beginning, uh, my favorite YouTuber would speak peace to camera mm-hmm. and then the title card would come up with him walking. And I was like, you know what? I really like that. I want to try Let's that. Let's just copy that. What's wrong with copy? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. So, um, Without further ado, do you want to get started? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Kagoshima is a prefecture known for its diverse and breathtaking beauty. Ranging is this handsome from volcanic shop? landscapes and lush forests. So this is kind of interesting to, to film because we went to the park and Today, you were like, what do I do? I was just like, read from the script. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, okay. Kagoshima's natural beauty with those from all around the world. This time on People of Kagoshima. So I also didn't know exactly what you were going to do with the walking across the Shrine Gate shot. You were just like, just leave it to me. And, and it works, right? Yeah, it, was, it was it good, works. yeah. I it like works. It. I like this shot. This is good. So these these shots just make everybody happy. Also, the beginning, we, we, we decided on theme music for like the title sequences so that like all five episodes have the same music. Yeah, yeah. So one of the challenging things about this video was that Nomoto-san spoke very well for like an entire hour. Mm-hmm. And I was like, how do I make this digestible for everybody? Right, yeah. I yeah. could have kept everything in there, but we just didn't have B-roll for it. Well, he's used to kind of interviews and stuff like that. What so. he's used to is he's used to taking people out and, and, and hanging out with them for like four hours. Sure, yeah, so yeah. he's got that much content to talk about. Yeah. And then the other thing is like he talked about all this historical stuff. So he had to like go to like After Effects animations. Right. Because like how else could you do this? Visiting some of the most remote. He's been all over the place, right? Look at this. He's been everywhere. Yeah. Um, and, and that's, I mean, it's, it's, it's really cool. So what am I? No uh, this 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 I stole from his face, his Facebook, but this is one right. of my favorite shots. To the same place. Got all his passports there. Yeah. Just the incredible history behind these photos. Wow. It's unbelievable how many countries he's actually been to, really. You know, coming I mean, from he, Japan as well to places like the Andes. It's not easy to get there. He's been to way more countries than I've been to. Yeah, me too. So, and another thing that was kind of challenging about this season, not only, okay, so, 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 no, 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 a zillion places across Kagoshima. Yeah. And I was like, ah, do I have B-roll for this? Yeah. So yeah, we obviously don't have the budget to like fly out to every place that he, he mentions, but we tried our very best. Yeah. yeah. I remember him saying once that like um, on the sea, if you go out into nature a lot, your kind of sense of smell changes and things like that. Really? Yeah. I can't remember if he mentioned it in this video or not, but he was talking about how you could... S- smell if there were fish nearby or something like that. I can't remember what it was. Yeah. 
Yeah. You turn into like Wolverine like a, or something. Yeah. 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 So this is actually a, a shot that we stole from uh, your your video that we didn't use. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So from Zen Guy. That's a nice shot. Yeah. This uh, we 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 actually shot this for a different project. <laughs> yes, we did, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> but it never aired, so we could use it for this. That's so fine. Don't tell anybody. Yeah. This, yeah. I was there. This is this is unfortunately Adobe stock because uh, we just didn't have the budget to fly a helicopter out to Tokyo. How did you film this one? This is uh, Google <laughs> Earth Studio. This was filmed. We filmed this. This is this was. Uh, was that a mummy? Yeah. yeah. No, this is yeah. This is a mummy. This is uh, stock that we had from before. Yeah. This yeah. we had from before. So this is actually a beautiful part of the uh, west coast of Kagoshima. This is uh, yeah. This is Kaimon Dake. Uh, so all Kiri, this is Kirishima, right? Yeah, so yeah. all of these places, like Kagoshima. in Kagoshima, we just. So many different terrains and mm -hmm. natural I places. And we actually shot his kayaking thing on two days, you'll notice from the video. One has like a very like sunny sky and the other one's like stormy like this. Uh, a little bit gray, yeah. And the reason why is because uh, on the first go, we didn't have this like GoPro mounted on his kayak. Oh, I see. And okay. I really wanted more facial expressions of him like when he, when he was like going around. So we actually asked him to go out again to, to do another shot. This time lapse was difficult because people wanted to keep getting in the shot. <laughs> right. Where did you shoot it? That, that was shot on Sakurajima. All oh, right. Okay. In the in the uh, athletic spot that they have there. Yeah, yeah. So this is actually two different days. This is one day that's uh, there with these people, and that's my feet on a different day. So if anybody ever wanted to see my feet, those are my. Nobody feet. wants to see them. Yeah. So that was taken on a different day. Now, one thing about Nomoto that was really great is that he had all these wonderful photos. Yeah, I like his mountain wear look <laughs> there. Especially, oh, a good since, fit. especially since his photos go back for so long. So one thing about Japan is that they all had, during the bubble especially, they all had great cameras. Yeah, yeah. So they all have these great pictures from their past. Yeah. Uh, and it's really, really, it's, it's easy to go back and find these things. No, this is shot in your office, actually. It is, yeah. A very stylish yeah. office. Oh, it's Takachi Yep, nice. so this, this is a very challenging hike because it's all ash and gravel and you will slip and fall. Yes. <laughs> no, I have done many times. Right. I, I did this about six times last year. So. Last year alone? Yeah. I mean, I've, I've done it once and I was like, I'm good. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. good. So, because he's such a nature man, like we get all these great shots of, course, of outdoor Kagoshima. Mm -hmm. Nature comes a passion to preserve it. So this is this is something that I had to look up. I was like, what is this Sato Yama Sato Umi stuff? Have you heard about this before? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course. Shut up. <laughs> I'm in tourism, man. It's like part of my job. Yeah, I was just like, let's research what this means. Yeah, yeah. So there's sea ecosystems and the mountain ecosystems, you know, with the agriculture and, you know. For me, like, uh, you know, I, I have to know a little bit about everything to make videos about practically everything. So one thing that I have to do is, like, be really good at Google. Yeah. What does right. that mean? Yeah, yeah. Is that Manami-san? That's his uh, guide who's training up, the lady there, yeah. So uh, I've never kayaked around Sakurajima, but I've I've definitely boated around Sakurajima, and it's it's crazy how much how the 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 ocean when you look into it changes depending on where you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a really interesting little area. No, it's a fun thing to kayak around as well because you get a real sense of the kind of the landscape and see it from a different angle completely. So this is a new thing that we we're doing with season three is that we before it'd be like hello my name is blah 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 my my job is blah 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 mm -hmm. but instead of that it's like we don't tell you what their name is until the until end, the right? end yeah yeah. Because we go, this is the person, and then this is their name. So it's kind of this, like, Quentin Tarantino way of doing it. There is right, nothing more quintessentially Japanese than green tea. And while Kagoshima is famous for producing this aromatic beverage, have you ever wondered what happens between the harvest and the cup? I had a bit of a cold on this Find day, I think. this time yeah, and you'd... on People of Kagoshima. It was cold as well, but you're such a sport. And you're like, all right, let's just pound it out, let's do it. 
This is one of my favorite drone shots. That's nice. Yeah, yeah this is on the uh, Osumi side of the peninsula, which is on the other side from the big city. Oh, this is kind of one of the more stylized edits that I did. Mm. The tea fields always look really nice, right, when you film them from above. So I was like, okay, they're kind of artistic in their own right, so what do I do? So let's put kind of like a beat in the background. Mm. Nice eruption in the background there as well. Look. Got very lucky on that day. So Mr. Ikeda had, we, we interviewed him for something like 45 minutes mm -hmm. and he got so esoteric about green tea that I got lost. I was like, um, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's make this more digestible. Yeah. And even though I tried to make it digestible, there, there, I had to like double check that I was not introducing these teas in reverse order. Right, I see, yeah, yeah. Because it's so... Like, we, we filmed the teas actually three times and like the beginning, the first shots that we took, they didn't look this dissimilar. They looked right. very similar. Sure. And so I had to go, we need very dissimilar looking tea so we can show the audience on video. Mm -hmm. And that's how we got that shot. Mind you, he's like, uh, what is it? Chashi Jiudang? Yeah, he's basically a tea sommelier, right? Yeah, yeah. Also this, this was hard to film, the, the difference in colors. It wasn't yeah. immediately understandable on camera. Mm -hmm. So, I was impressed with these people and how they were just so effective at doing this with no problem. They just like, they were so fast. Like, we, we, we parked the car, we got the drone out, and they almost finished in that time. Right, I see. We're like, slow down. Slow down. I'm trying to film this. Man, you got a lot to do, look. And they have a lot to do. I actually um, did a... You know the tea harvesting machine that drives over the top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you drove, drove one it. of those once. <laughs> but I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention and I kind of turned it and it went through the middle of the tea. It's like a Clarkson's farm moment. Yeah, and it made a big dent in it. So if you Where film it from above, there's one that's got a hole. You know. <laughs> so this is one of the... In downtown uh, Temoka, this is one of the most like stylish little places that you can go and sit down and enjoy some tea. Oh, and I love that he had these photos. Yeah, like, I was just cool. really happy about this. Yeah, I love how it says Makoto on the, uh, <laughs> the flag outside. <laughs> so this is Mr. Ikeda, actually. He is, this is him, like, choosing tea as a baby. No this, this reminded me of, like, the Anheuser-Busch family, where they, like, the kids get, like, the little sip of Budweiser when they're born. Right, yeah. That was, you know, the legacy. It's just such a stylish little place. I really, really enjoy his shop. Yeah. This is important, actually. He's not a tea maker, but he's the tea blender, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like being a chef of tea, right? Like, yeah. you know how, like, a chef will blend ingredients and cook them to a meal, and he'll take the same, he'll take the different grown products and make it into a finished product. Yeah. So here's a kind of behind the scenes thing. So Alex decided that all of the subtitles should be in English, British English, and I'm American, <laughs> as you can hear. Yeah. And so like, I have to re-spell things sometimes. Yeah. Centimeter, centimetre. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I'm glad that you're learning the uh, the proper language. I, I've set my word to British English dictionary, and it just underlines all my American spelling in red. Yeah, there's loads of them. <laughs> this is a good shot. I really like this. Yeah. We just so happen to have this this shot here, which is like really great because it's really hard to get access to like elementary school kids. Yeah. We yeah. just so happen to have this footage where you couldn't see any of their faces, so we could use it. Yeah. Yeah. This is important, you know, next generation, bringing up the, the kids to understand the culture. And also starting when they're young, so they yeah. have an appreciation for it. This is my staff. I was like, could you be a model for half a day? She's like, okay. Right. Took her up to a rooftop, yeah. like drink some tea. She's like, okay. As the green jumper to match the green tea. I told her to wear something cute because we're going to film her right. drinking tea. <laughs> we got permission from the building. They were like, sure, we'll do whatever we want. It was so nice. I love this drone shot. This is a beautiful little area. Yeah. Is that Ikira-san? Yeah, yeah, it's Ikira-san. We're like, 
uh, Stand Tyson there. Tyson. <laughs> okay, so we have to direct <laughs> them to do things because, like, yeah, yeah. we know what we want visually, but uh, these people aren't used to being on camera. Yeah, yeah. So when we're like, can you walk touching the tea leaves? Well, that kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But it, it, it made it so emotional because, like, that's where he's talking about we want to preserve this for the next generation. And, like, you know, because yeah. he's, he's a sommelier of, of tea. Yeah, yeah. And also, you know, like, the end credits, we decided to change that for season three yeah. as well. It's got a bit more of a dramatic feel. It's friendly yeah. and welcoming people from the cities to the countryside. Folks here like to look after and cherish their neighbors. Today, I'd like to introduce you to a man who blends the warm hearts of Kagoshima with artistic expression. This time on People of Kagoshima. We were lucky to nice have shot. snow. Snow, yeah. Yeah. snow on Sakurajima that day. Just lucky. Can I just say, I also had to say folks, which is very unusual for a British person. It's, it's, I wrote those lines. You so. changed a couple of the words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was going to say chaps, but then... <laughs> yeah, but... Oh, okay, so this... The subtitling of this was actually really difficult because the word neighbor is spelled differently in British English than it is in American English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the name of his company is spelled in American English. Yeah. So we yeah. had a little bit of debate out of how to do the subtitles. Yeah. I think we settled on inverted commas. Yeah, we did. Yeah. One of the things that we were lucky to do is just get this interview. He is so busy. Yeah, he's hard to get hold of. He's, he's busy. He's not in the pre. He's all over the country, you know. And when he's not doing interviews or being busy, he's actually like, I think he's like gardening in his beachside house in Fukuyage. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he's got some projects going on over there. He's such an interesting person. I mean, his band is super famous, right? <laughs> okay, so we, in his interview, he talked about his band a lot. And... I had to make the con maybe controversial decision to cut it from the yeah, video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is basically you know, the rule of video is if you don't have it on video, if you don't have B-roll of it, you don't have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he spoke extensively about his, his, his band. But I was just like, well, we don't have any usable footage of it. And anything that we do have is copywritten. So I was like, Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This shot is a composite shot because this is actually standard definition video from a, uh, years back. Right, right. So we had to like composite it all together so it didn't look just terrible. Sure, yeah. But I do like that they have this video. Yeah, no, it's cool. Yeah. This is a high definition video that they have of the event from the, the last event that they had before the pandemic. Right, right. That's fun, man. Like uh, everybody outside. So when I first came to stuff. when I first came to Kagoshima, I lived in Kawanabe, where this event is. Mm -hmm. So I literally lived like like ten minutes away from this. Yeah, yeah. And it's just it's just a closed down school in the countryside, and they just like take it over and make a huge event once a year. It's really cool. Tokyo, so this is actually something that is really important in this video, I think, is talking about how if you're in Kagoshima, you're a VIP, just, just by de default. Yeah. In Tokyo, you're kind of like an, another number, but in, in, in Kagoshima, you're, you're a person. Yeah. It's because Kagoshima is digestible. It's a size that... Is it, it still makes sense within our, our frame of understanding as a human being. Yeah. When you get to Tokyo, it's just chaos. You know, so much, so many yeah. people. Well, it's busy, competitive, you know, exhausting. Right. Scoring this video was difficult because we just didn't, I just didn't know what to do in terms of like mood because he was very serious, but he was also very positive. Right. So it and took a long time to find the right music for this. この、ビアグドネバっていう僕らの会社名、え、BAGの略して言ってますけど、これはですね、ロサンゼルスの道端に書いてあったんですよ。あの、ビアグドネバで、Well, <笑> in Los Angeles you probably need to say it a bit more. ビアグドネバ。Well, I like about his philosophy here is that、例えばそのお店に行って、お店出た後に、instead of limiting your behavior, this is like giving you the option to figure out what you should be doing. Yeah, yeah. Which I think is actually quite clever of him to, to recognize. 
あの隣の人隣人をリスペクトするならばどうすればいいか考えてくださいって言い方するじゃないですかその言い方はすごくいいなと思います、ね。I want to point out、uh, that Chisato did all of these、uh, interviews except for the last one and I think that she did a great job、oh, yeah. pulling the information out of, out of the interviewers because like you know the people who get interviewed they're he... In this interview, this, this interview was fine, but other interviews, they can be a little bit nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not used to it because there's a ton of camera equipment behind the, that you're not seeing.、Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and Shisato is very like, comforting and she can get them talking. And she did a great job. Well, for people who don't notice what they're doing as being important、yeah. or you know, don't really know how to express it, so a helping hand towards that. Was, you know. There's also the addition that Japanese. Pun- People tend to be very humble、mm-hmm. and will understate what they're doing or their accomplishments rather than, you know, like an American be like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm on the Fortune 500. You know?、yeah. uh, it's, not, it's not like Japanese people do that. So to get them to kind of not brag, but like talk about their accomplishments is difficult. I, I love that they had so much media of these events. That was、yeah. very, made things a lot easier. Now they've got a nice office in town as well. Yeah, they have a cool building. I, I think I should point out now that we decided to go with a、uh, cinescope, fake cinescope for all of this. Yeah. So it's like ultra widescreen. Yeah, yeah. Gives it that cinematic feel. I like how you did a, a few fade to black and then, you know, back in with the music. Okay, so what we try to do on this one is not do any transitions that were like, like, A transition effect. Yeah. yeah. They all had like some sort of like video or visual transition.、Mm-hmm. And also getting the last, their last comments to line up with the crescendo of the song to hit on their name、mm-hmm. was a bit of a challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, like to,、yeah. to do that is kind of hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Um, but yeah, we made it work. So, yeah, I, his, his interview, I think, made it, made people understand like how beautiful the, the countryside is in, 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 in Kagoshima. Totally, yeah, yeah. And then we start、Fashion、off this next one. We go into the countryside immediately. Fashion doesn't always occupy billboards and catwalks. Nestled in the tranquility of Kagoshima's countryside is an atelier producing modern fashion. With a traditional twist. This one was hard because people, people kept walking past. This took forever to shoot. And、it's、also a, on this shot, where am I walking to? Don't, don't ask that question. It's not important. <laughs> not important. That's the question that, that no one but us will know about. Walked into a wall. So in this shot, like, it's really crazy because it just lines up. All the lines、yeah. just line up perfectly. A bit lighthearted music. Yeah. This Ghibli esque, yeah, that's that's what I was going for for this because it's kind of like a whimsical place, yeah. So, here's a, here's a technical behind the scenes. So, the interview was done in a kind of a space that where there were many people in the background and a lot of building noise,、mm-hmm. and so to de to denoise their voice. Really took a lot of time. Yeah. It was unfortunately had to be like processed in order to be cleaned up.、Mm. When you first told me what these two were doing before I went out there to see it myself, I, I, I had a completely different idea. I was like, that sounds kind of easy, like just take the kimono and reform it. Right. But then when you start talking about the process of what, how they are remaking the kimono, it, like, it became more interesting to me that they're trying to like, s- preserve the actual kimono in it as much as they can in its, its original shape. Sure, yeah, yeah. Well, the thing about kimono is you can actually bring them back to the, the tan mono, the, the kind of roll of fabric that they were created from. Yeah. So, if, if you have that, then you can also turn it back into a kimono if you want to. Right,、future. right, right. And so they're trying to preserve the, the, the cloth of it. They also had this, these great sewing machines that were all you know, manual. So I've never seen such old sewing machines in my life. And like in the middle of summer, they didn't even have AC. They were just like, we're natural people. That's crazy. Yeah, we were like, can you please turn on the AC because our cameras are overheating? <laughs> <laughs> 
大事なことは民族服として続きを作っていこうっていう意味でやっています。Yeah, they had just like loads and loads of fabric. Well, it's a shame because, you know, kimono industry's shrunk by, you know, maybe 80% or something like that、yeah. since its peak. And,、um, you know, there's a lot of fabric around that's not being used. And the thing is, is the, the fabric takes so long to create. You know,、yeah. it's, it's, it's all a work of art, isn't it? Yeah. それはもう布を残すっていうことなのでその大きさのまま最大限できる範囲で自分たちがベストと思える形を作るっていうことをやっています着物って3 5センチから3 8ンチぐらいの幅が This is actually, I mean, I knew this, but this is the first time that I realized that, oh, that actually has to influence the way things are created after the, 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 the fabric is created. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is, where, this is the first time this is actually linked in my brain. So, one of the problems the kimono industry has now is that the width of the fabric is not wide enough to create garments for very tall people. Mm. For men. Yeah. So, you know, they need to create, you know, fabric widths 40 centimeters or more in some cases. So they've never done that before, which is like a big hurdle.、Um, but, you know, if, if the need is there in the market, they'll start having to change that going forward. Yeah, we, whenever I go like, wear a kimono somewhere, they're always like, ah, it's so short, sorry. I know, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm glad that we had this scene where you know, he was actually dressing with a, with a client.、Um, なるべく直接見ていただいて、えー、来ていただくような機会を作るのはやっぱりその瞬間が見たいっていうのが自分たちのこのやる気というかあの人喜んでくれたねっていうのがうん一番の喜びですね。Yeah, it's just, it's such, a, it's such a worthwhile cause to preserve, you know, that, that history.、Mm. You know, because, like, I mean, this, this season, you know, we've got the history of tea, we've got the history of the, of the, of the fashion and the clothing. Yeah. You know, we've got music. I mean, we've got a little bit of everything this、yeah. season. Kagoshima is home to many famous actors, personalities, and musicians. Today, we meet the mother of one of Japan's most so, famous singers. So, that's I in the, back tr- in the background. We、yeah. couldn't show、that、it. That's why I blurred. We couldn't show it. We couldn't show it. We couldn't show it. We've gone on to inspire generations of people. This time on People of Kagoshima. So, do you need to explain who I is for people who aren't familiar? So, I is a major、uh, singer songwriter in Japan, and she did the theme song to Baymax. Mm. And、uh, she's just, she's from Kagoshima and she's Barbara's daughter and she's just like wildly famous. Yeah.、Uh, and whenever Barbara gets into media, so, so often she's portrayed as the mother of I.、Mm-hmm. And so when I, inter- this, this is the only interview this, this season that I did. Yeah. In Nachi Sato. And so because it was in English. And when I interviewed her, I started the interview saying, Barbara, this is your story, not I's story. Yeah. This is not talking about you through the framework of I. This is your story. Yeah. But there's still little hints of eye in the background. You see the posters and everything. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. In Italy, my dad、uh, learned to speak Italian very well. So Barbara's technically half Japanese.、Wow. Yeah. So when they first met, my mom was washing clothes for the soldiers. They fell in love immediately. And I think it was 1947. So this is also difficult to score because Barbara will say very, like, in the, like a little bit further along, she'll start saying very emotional things, but she'll say it in such a happy way. Right, right. <laughs> so it's like, I want to be emotional in this scene, but she's smiling so much. It's like,、uh, what do、yeah. we do? When I was living in LA,、oh, wow. I met I've met never seen these photos. When I was 31 years old, I was working in real estate, and he was my boss's client. That's how we met. When I first yeah, so she had a wealth of, of photos, and DVDs, and everything. So much media that we could, we could pull from. I got off the airplane and we went to、uh, Sendai, Satsuma Sendai. And it's beautiful, green, and sky is blue, and flowers, and everybody seems so kind. And that old feeling lasted one day. 
I understand that feeling Why? 100%. Because the next day I realized nobody spoke English. My husband <laughs> was too busy to be with me, and me and Ai chan, she so was. So that's baby Ai chan. She looks exactly the same. She doesn't, she? I couldn't do anything. <laughs> I was just lost and lonely. My first year living in Kagoshima was the toughest because I didn't understand the customs. Men in late This is like such an old photograph. America. And you and, look at the way uh, she's holding her chopsticks, it's like incorrect. Yeah. yeah. Going so it's just it's town, like the, the perfect foreigner late, fish out of water so story. So I was looking at the mustache. Daughter, we yeah. had such a hard time. I look at I these photos that she day. has. It's just I'm so happy that she and had I these. I kept saying I wanna go back home, I wanna go back home. I was homesick, I was negative. I, was I mean, we both understand how it's like to live in a in a place that's not our own quote unquote home. So, mm -hmm. and she, you know, my daughter too. No matter what I had, I was crying or down. She was the same. So we both. I would just stay in my room because I don't want to go out because I don't want to hear Japanese. And even if I speak English, nobody understands me. I go to the market. I don't know which is sugar and which is salt. I, I've had this before where kanji. I couldn't understand the kanji on something, so I asked the right. old lady, I was like, excuse me, can anybody. you read this kanji to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many things happened. I made so many mistakes with the customs, going in my neighbor's house with shoes on. She said, put on the slippers. Never done that, but I have done this on next one. The tummy room, that's no good. Slippers on tatami, so have done that before. What about toilet slippers wrong. into the um, so Forgetting about them. Restaurant. Yeah. First year, my husband and I, when we came to Kagoshima, he said, we're only going to stay one year. But that one year became 39 years. <laughs> so she said that her husband's from Kagoshima yes, in the video, but it kind of, the way that she said it didn't fit. So I just like, it's through, I, was, I, I just implied it. Implied it, right. Yeah. So the doctor checked me, but he can't find what's wrong with me. So they put me in the hospital. And finally, the doctor said, uh, we know what's wrong with you. And I said, what? He said, stress. <laughs> so because of stress, I kept getting fevers and I, I felt, well, I was in depression, right? I made myself sick, thinking negative and thinking bad things and having the two kids, I don't know how to raise him, worrying about that. And uh, my husband couldn't help me, too busy. So anyway, that was my life. Yeah, it must be hard with two kids especially. I mean, you, you know, know how that feels, system. right? Well, yeah. But... You've, got, you've got two kids here. So it was my mom that helped me pull out of this. And the reason why is because I called my mom and I said, I got sick, I was in the hospital, I can't live here, I can't speak the language, it's too difficult. I have the two kids. What she said of her mom's response do. really mom surprised really me in the interview. Mad at me. Mm. And she said, Her mom got angry. What are you saying? You know, your life is your responsibility. I said, I can't be happy. My husband is not home, he's always gone. And she said, your happiness and your life is your responsibility. I think that's why they so, call her mom's generation the greatest you generation, study, right? Because like they change went through the war, thinking, right? And they just became words, like nails words, tough. I can't. Mm. It's too difficult. I'm worried. I'm tired. And she said, "Change it. I can do it. I love being here. I'm happy." Barbara's mother change would be a the greatest me, generation. Barbara no would be what, a boomer. We would be millennials. Like are we millennials? No, I'm she not. Noticed that we what are you? Conversation. Um, you don't like yourself. Whatever's before That's millennials. The most important thing is to like Gen yourself. Gen X, Xer. Between that and a millennial, I think. Number one on the thing, cusp of. If you don't like yourself, I think I'm technically a millennial. I'm not sure. People are not going to like you. They have the same feeling that you do. The kids will not be able to get this is actually friends. psychologically They're true like, like if you them. project That's negativity negativity will come so back to you but if you project you positivity then positivity will come back to you well a lot of it's you know worrying about yourself i want to i want to point out a little production mishap that we had so she's got these giant bay windows at her house right and like it was a cloudy day so the sun kept coming in and out right right oh so hard to edit that she said do this is such a great photo you've got i think it's on the sakurajima ferry we've got barbara her two children like the sailor in, in a, in yeah, the sailor hat. I can do it. So she encouraged me. And because, you know, she came to America when she was 22. She only went to, in Italy, elementary school for fourth grade. So she had to work at 10 years old. Coming to America, she couldn't speak English, but she had a good life. She made her own life. My dad, too, he didn't speak English. 
but they made their own life. They worked hard. So she said, you can do it. I mean, that's that's tough love, right? Yeah. This, this is a great little scene that we were just lucky to be there at the, the time that these were coming in. Oh, nice. I read a lot of books, and the reason I read a lot of so books... So I didn't have any footage of her books, so we just had to, like, fake it. 300 books. You see, who would set books up like that in real life? Though? No one. Gonna have <laughs> but, <laughs> but they're talking about books, and we have to have some visual for it. Yeah, yeah. It's got to have to fake it. In Kagoshima, I said, there's no English books. So they send me 300 books, and it was books about thinking positive, about making your goals and dreams come true, image training. When she was talking about this, I, I was trying to do the kids, math. I was like, so this must have been uh, the health, 80s, like when self-help and mm, power girl so stuff was like at its peak. Books right, yeah, yeah. I read, and um, one of the main things I noticed that every book I read, being thankful is important. And another thing is smile. Smile and healthy, smile and confident, smile and successful. And the thing is, you have to smile 80% of the day. I love so this picture. I want to do it. What and is that? It's a kappa, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a kappa. Yeah. Of the day is in the morning when you wake uh, up. That must be Ohara Matsuri. So yeah, I, I think it's Ohara Matsuri here okay, in Kagoshima. Every morning, I put mirrors all over the house. So I could, we, we had to use AI so super sampling to upscale the images. Right. Because, yeah. I mean, this I is all shot in 4K, like but, like, if the, 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 the photograph is from, like, the 80s. Oh yeah, yeah. Like this, right? So, anyway, I practice, 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 and I read 300 books, and every morning I wake up with a smile, and I breathe, and, and that helped me to become positive and a different person. So, so anyway, one thing that was a challenge for Barbara we'll was to give this interview in English, English and talk about these things in English because she's so used to giving these talks in Japanese. Talks, right, yeah. And not mm -hmm. one have I said, I want to do it. Everything is coming to me. I give one talk, then I get five calls later. I do another talk, I get more calls. Shiaose! Okay. means happy. Let's be happy. Because I did so many lectures, okay, after so, 10 years of giving lectures, so her I books, talk for when she was talking about that, I was actually kind of confused when like, we were editing it. I was like, which book is she talking about? Right. And I tried to look them up, and, and one lady two of them, their ISBN numbers didn't have like what publishing dates on them. Yeah. I didn't have access to the books. I was like, it, mm -hmm. I had to take a guess at it, but I guessed right. It was okay. Right, so right. many research. She looks young there. When was uh, that? Yeah, yeah, this is some years ago. So I said at that time, I want to write a book. Maybe 10 years ago, I though. It, I have to do it. <laughs> so I, I really thought about that after the talk. I said, yeah, I got to write my book. You know, because reaching people in lectures, it's only like 100 people here or 50 people here or whatever it is. We were talking, but Alex, about how you need to write forever. a book soon. Yeah, and no, I'm thinking about it. People, <laughs> can read it over and over again. So Probably in I Japanese, it's though. Good for yeah. People and it's good for me because well, I, I mean, Barbara's books are in Japanese. All yeah. All the things that I learned for myself too. So I went back to Los Angeles and I wrote the book in three weeks. The reason why is because I had notes, 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 notes. So I organized my notes into sections: positive living, confidence, this, this. So I separated everything: family, uh, you know, communications, and. So then I wrote the book in English in three weeks. I came back to Japan and it took nine months to translate. Because I cannot read and write Japanese, somebody ha I have to talk to somebody in Japanese to tell them what I want to say. And then to check the book, it takes like 10 people to check it for me to make sure the kanji is right and what I'm saying I can understand right. this exactly. So like it, getting your time, emotional meaning out, across in Japanese is actually quite so difficult. Happy. Yeah. And yeah. after that, you really need a very book, talented translator the for that. I wrote the second book is because the first book I wrote, people still don't listen. They're still not positive. They're still not, you know, uh, being, you know, the <laughs> Be way positive. that they should be <laughs> enjoying their life. So Alex is uh, British, and uh, so I, I, I don't know if he buys into the so uh, overly and positive like, message. Teachers, yeah, you, t you tend to be a little r rain cloudy sometimes. But it's not rain cloudy; it's just uh, not an American outlook. So everything in the I mean, Barbara is Barbara very Amer Japanese American. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
So that was the second book. What's wrong with that? I'm, I'm Japanese American. <laughs> Precisely, that's about the problem. Years. And then I thought to myself, what's the most important thing that I learned all this time? And I said, yeah. I want to tell people if you know she's always had colored out, hair. I, I've seen her go through so many colors over yeah, the years. Yeah, life, be happy and make it a habit. Making it a habit is important. You know, not just smile. Okay, then finish because most people do things three days and they're finished. So that's what my uh, third book. Then the fourth book, I was in a magazine called Jose Jishin. And the writer, professional writers came to Kagoshima and they were with me for a week. So after we did the article in the, in the magazine, the writer said to me, I met him in Tokyo and he said, I have so much information about you. I could write a book. And I said, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and he said, let's do it. So he went to the top people and presented my uh, story. And they said, okay, so every, for one That's year, Aichan, every month, uh, there's a singer. I went to Tokyo and we did the book together. So that's Happy Dictionary, my fourth book. Four books. I think she's also got a couple other publications out there as well. Yeah. By art is one, I love to do it. It's something, it's a new challenge for me. And creating art, wow, you know? And it's like a, a child to me. When I write it, and then I go to sleep the next morning, I look at what I did, and I said, oh, man, that's good. And it inspires me because I could never, I could never think of myself so as... So one of the challenges that we always have every hour. season, we're on season three now, so is to doing it and figure out who we so want to I present put, and the, the, the mixture. Colors mm -hmm. we want, that's exciting I don't want to say the word diversity, but we want, we want people from various and backgrounds. And yeah. I see the yeah. um, and we try, and we try our happy. best to get at least but one foreign all, person living in Kagoshima. And that's where Barbara was just like the perfect mixture of, you know, living here for almost my entire lifetime. Yeah. And so, um, and everything. So my theme of, of my article. No, she's overcome a lot though, because we're moving here in the 1970s so and 80s and is much different to. I mean, we came here in the, the early aughts, you know, with, and here. like internet, you know. So yeah, we. I mean, they didn't the have room, smartphones, they didn't have Amazon, but still, I mean, they. I could talk to my friends over the internet. Hug, yeah. And you know, when she came here, she'd have to like use MSI to call long distance to talk to her parents and stuff. You know. So I'm happy about that, but it's a it's a new adventure for me, and. Two years ago, I had the goal and dream to do one in Tokyo. So two years ago, I did it in Tokyo, and this year too in Tokyo. We filmed several and of her events, and it's just year, amazing. Tokyo, All the people that she draws, goal, the crowds that she draws. I'm do yeah. It in LA. So anyway, that's going to be a big one for me. So next year is my challenging year to create really really exciting art and really beautiful it's amazing that she's continuing to goal. to challenge new things and try new things out and do it in different places you know yeah, she's got an amazing amount of energy like we did a, a an hour long interview and at the end of it she's like i could do more ago, i was like you know, i was like i was a we're done <laughs> do, that was sad and lonely doing nothing and little by little my life changed because of the people because of oh this is a great transition my, there they are my family is always supporting me <laughs> and every time I, I, every year, life gets better and better and better. So I don't know where, how far I'm going, but this year, you know, I'm 75, but I know my future. I'm thinking like maybe until 80, I'll do lectures and things like that, but art I can do forever, I think. And I'm thinking that I want to do more to help people. You know, I write a column, a sold-on column for the newspaper here in an advice column in, in Kagoshima, but I want to do something more. I want to do, like, I've been always thinking about this for many years, a talk show in Kagoshima. I, I could see it. TV, I could see it. There's more like Tetsuko no Heia. Yeah, I, can I can see it. There's more people I can touch. There's more people I can make happy. I just feel like I'm not finished yet. I'm not, I haven't reached This my last line that she yet. said kind of hit so hard with me. I don't know why I, I living, felt this. That's why, you know, I love Kagoshima. Kagoshima has given me so much 
to my life. If I was living in LA, I wouldn't do all these things, I know. Kagoshima has the power. Kagoshima needed me and I needed Kagoshima. All right, that was season three. Alex, how did you feel about it? Yeah, it was good. So we did a lot less episodes this time, but more in depth, a bit more of a kind of documentary feel, a bit more dramatic in some places. And we also met some really interesting people doing diverse and interesting things again. So it just shows you that, you know, there are some great people here in Kagoshima, uh, lots of people to meet when you come and travel here. Uh, and we hope to welcome more visitors from overseas in the future. For all of you guys out there who made it to the end of this video, please, please, please leave us a comment that goes a long way with the local government. They do read all of the comments, and uh, we would really appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you maybe season four. Thank you. Take care. All right. Bye, everybody. What's good? Let's get it. Let's get it.